Lily, hopefully you don't have anything planned for this weekend. We're going to visit my parents this weekend. They invited us to have dinner with them. Again? We just visited last month. Isn't it too much, Justin? What's wrong with checking with my parents once every month? They're getting older. We, we don't know when will be our last dinner with them. But we stayed over for New Year's as well. If we're visiting your parents again, I hope you can also visit mine. You haven't visited my parents for a while. I want to visit more often, to be honest. Okay, l let's go visit your parents the week after. And I promise we'll go visit them more often in the future. You okay with that, Lily? Well, yeah, I guess. But about visiting your parents, I get really tired when I go visit them. Do you not like my parents? Why are you being like this? You always want to leave as soon as possible whenever we visit them. It makes me uncomfortable too, you know. I think I'm treated... differently. I feel unwelcomed. They don't care if I come visit or not as long as they can meet their son. You're their in-law. That's why you're treated a bit differently compared to me. Y you have to understand. Your family never waits for me and starts eating dinner before I join them at the table. It makes me feel left out. First of all, I didn't even have time to eat dinner. Everyone was done eating by the time I finished all the work. I was doing all the housework for them. They could have lent me a hand. Are you expecting hotel services? We should be appreciating them for inviting us over. Let my mom rest while we're there. She's getting old. I'm always willing to help, and I'm really thankful for them preparing meals for us. But I never expected them to make me do everything for them. I thought they only asked me to bring a couple of dishes when I visited them. But once we arrived, they made me go shopping for groceries to the supermarket that was pretty far from the house. And I also cooked a few more dishes for dinner. I was honestly exhausted by the time I got home. Hey, you're exaggerating. Are you trying to blame my parents? You're making it sound worse. Not exactly. Honestly, I think you're the one to be blamed. Me? Why? What did I do to you? You could have helped me out as my husband. It's nerve-wracking to meet your partner's parents. You could at least help me spend a comfortable time with them. Not for me. How is it nerve-wracking? It's fun to spend time with your parents. I feel comfortable around your parents as if I'm their real son. I guess it's because they're kind and considerate of you. They try to treat you like you're their real son. Why do you have to be so sarcastic? We have different types of parents, that's all. You make my parents sound like a villain. They're not trying to bully you or anything, okay? They just wanted to try your cooking. If so, they should have told me earlier. I could have gotten ready for it. I could bring more dishes next time so that I don't have to cook for so long. I don't want to miss out on dinner. Well, Mom can be pretty clumsy sometimes. I guess she just forgot to tell you beforehand. Hey, am I expected to cook again when I visit them this weekend? Should I bring more dishes this time? Huh? I don't think so. Did they ask you to? They told me that they'll prepare the food, so you don't have to worry about it. Really? I might check with your mother just in case. She might be expecting me to bring a few easy dishes. If she wants me to go shopping for groceries again, I could visit them earlier. Well, it's up to you. Lily, I think you're being a bit too sensitive. My parents invite us over often because they're fond of you. Really? They won't invite us over if they dislike you. They might not be good at expressing it, but they like you, Lily. I think it's not really about liking me or not. It's more complicated than that. I don't know how to say this. I know they're not trying to be mean or anything, but something feels off. Right? Don't be too sensitive. You'll start getting along soon. They'll be your parents-in-laws for the rest of your life. Let's try understanding each other. I think you're overreacting about a small problem. It's definitely a big problem for me. It's difficult to deal with these kinds of problems, Justin. But you know, it, it makes me upset when I hear you criticize my parents. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <sighs> I, I know. Let's stop talking about it. I'm also trying my best to get along with your parents. You're not the only one struggling. This is new for both of us. We're a couple. We're in this together. Don't you think we need to be tolerant sometimes? Lily, you have the day off this week, right? Do you have any plans? I thought we were visiting my parents. Did you forget about it? Oh, 
Right, we're visiting your parents. I completely forgot about it, sorry. What's wrong? Do you have other plans? We can reschedule our visit to my parents if it's anything urgent. Well, Mom asked if I can take her shopping that day. She doesn't want to travel alone nowadays because of her back pain. I'm also worried about making her go alone. Okay, right. Go on, I won't stop you. What's with your attitude? I'm being polite here. Are you still angry about yesterday? Come on, don't hold a grudge. Don't be so angry just because you had to eat dinner in the kitchen. I think you had enough time to eat dinner this time. Really? Is that what you think? Are you serious, Justin? I was so shocked when your mother told me to eat in the kitchen alone. I thought she would invite me to join her at the table. I thought they were the ones who wanted me there and invited me over. What's the point of inviting me over if they're going to make me eat alone anyways? Can you imagine how I felt eating alone in the kitchen? I've never felt so lonely in my life. You're the daughter-in-law. There's nothing wrong about the way she treated you. Like I told you before, you're being too sensitive. Huh? Are you serious? You're not going to be on my side? It's not about taking sides. I just think it's normal for my mom to do so. It's their house. They have the most power in the household. We don't have much say, do we? It's convenient if you're in the kitchen all the time. Mom and Dad won't have to leave their seats. They suffer from back pain, okay? Then why were you always sitting at the table with them? You could have joined me in the kitchen if you're so concerned about your parents' health. Or are you going to tell me you deserve to sit with them because you're their real son? Well, obviously. I'm the only son. They want to spend time with me as much as possible. Is that the only reason? Really? So I'm treated like this just because I'm the daughter-in-law? My parents are conservative people. It might be hard for you to accept their ways, but I hope you can understand. I can try to understand your parents, but I don't understand you at all. Why are you always on their side? I'm your wife, Justin. You might be their only son, but you're also my husband. Nothing's wrong about this situation. I'm just trying to spend some time with my parents. You're overreacting. It's weird. You're the crazy one here. I'm not overreacting. I'm trying to tell you that I deserve to be treated better. If they don't want to have dinner with me, they shouldn't have invited me in the first place. They could have just invited you. I don't mind at all staying at home while you visit them. Hey, th they thought that was the best for you. We're a couple, Lily. We have to visit them together. No, if they don't want me, they shouldn't invite me over. I bet they're inviting us over just to meet you. And Justin, I hope you could be more supportive of me and be on my side. I don't want you to think it's normal for your wife to eat alone in the kitchen. It's a miserable feeling, really. That was normal back then. The daughter-in-law took care of her husband's parents, serving food and getting ready in the kitchen. In the past, maybe, but that's centuries ago. We're living in a modern era. If you told your colleagues that you think it's normal for your wife to eat alone at your parents' house, wouldn't they think you're crazy? Many people still have trouble getting along with their parents-in-law, but this is too much, Justin. Why would I say that to my colleagues? If you don't want to tell them that, you should know that what you're saying is abnormal in this society. Lily, you're overreacting. And I'm getting tired with your complaints. You keep on complaining about my parents over and over again. It's not like you're going to meet my parents every single day. It's already over. You don't have to bring this up. Let's move on, okay? You'll get over it soon. It's important because I only meet them once in a while. I can't bear it if they pretend like they've done nothing wrong the next time I see them. I think I'm spending more time with your parents than necessary. How many more times am I supposed to tolerate it? And remember, when we went on a trip with them, I was always driving and holding all of their stuff for them. You and your family were the only ones having fun. I was exhausted with the driving. But no one offered to help nor gave me a single word of thanks. I think it's natural to feel upset after all this unfair treatment. Now you're talking about the trip we went on last year. Why are you bringing that up now? If you want to complain, you should have just said it to us back then. Ugh, women. They love to change topics for their benefit. I'm just giving you examples. I've been tolerating it long enough. You don't seem to understand at all. Lily, listen, I, I don't want us to get into a fight over this topic. Me neither. 
Are you also pissed about me forgetting our visit to your parents this week? I, I told you I was sorry. No, I don't care at this point. You know my parents would forgive you even if you forgot about it and miss our dinner with them. But you have to visit them next year for the New Year's celebration. This is a promise, okay? All right, I promise. We'll go visit them next week, and I promise I won't forget. We'll also spend the New Year's with them next year. So calm down, okay? I know you're stressed out, but so am I. If you're still angry when I get home, I'm going to be pissed. I'm tired too after a long day of work. Don't act so childish. You should be able to control your anger better. Hey, Justin, why did you leave without me? We were still having dinner with mom and dad. My parents are worried about you. Why do you have to ruin the mood? It's been a month since I last saw them. I was so excited for this day. And how am I supposed to go home? You left with our car. Will you come back to pick me up? Come home by yourself. Or you could ask your parents. Why do you sound angry? What's wrong? It's been a while since you last met my parents. I thought you got along with them just fine. You told me you liked my parents. Where are your manners, Justin? Don't embarrass yourself in front of my parents. Seriously? You don't know why I'm angry? It's you and your family's fault. Remember what they did to me? They made me eat in the corridors alone. I can't believe it. Who makes their son-in-law eat in the corridors? Do you all even have common sense? People don't eat in corridors. It's not built for that. I'm the guest. Why am I being treated like this? Justin, what's wrong? I thought this was normal in your household. It's normal for Lily to eat in the kitchen when she visits your parents because she's the daughter-in-law. According to you, the daughter-in-law should take care of her husband's parents. Then you should also eat alone as our son-in-law when you visit us. How about you do the same and take care of us? Eat in the corridor so you're always ready to get us the mail or answer the door when someone comes by. Huh? Is this really you, Lily? Hello again. I am Lily's mom. I borrowed the phone from Lily to talk with you. Lily's mom? I didn't know it was you reading my messages. So can you explain what's going on? Why are you angry? Why did you leave while we were having dinner? I thought we were all having a good time. Well, I was definitely enjoying having dinner with my daughter. It's been a month since I last saw her. Let me remind you, Justin. We just did what your family did to my daughter. But I think it's a bit too much to make me eat in the corridors. It's not a place to eat. My family made her eat in the kitchen, but she had plenty of room to eat. It's a place that could be used to eat, unlike the corridor. We got you a mini table so that you can eat comfortably. Wasn't that enough for you? I heard that my daughter had to eat while standing up in the kitchen. I don't think you can call that plenty of room. Or did she lie to us? How about you tell me what's really happened? No, what, what she said was right. Then I don't understand why you're angry and why you left without a word. That was a bit rude, wasn't it? I thought you had better manners. What's wrong with making you eat in the corridor? My daughter is also a guest when she visits your parents' house. But she told me she was treated like a housemaid. Didn't you think she was treated wrongly? The wife should devote herself to her husband's family. How about you? Are you willing to devote yourself to us as my daughter's husband? I think that's a different story. It, it only applies to the wife. What's different? Why don't we treat the husband the same way? Because it used to be the norm in the past. I think you know this better than me. Should we talk like the old times, then? Justin, have you paid us dowry? Where's the money? I don't think you paid us a single cent. And my daughter also has a job, which is unbelievable. I want her to be a stay-at-home wife. Can you make twice the amount of your salary from now on so that you both will have enough money to survive? Um, I think you're going overboard. You're asking too much. I thought you preferred the norms from the old times, and I know what it was like more than you. How about you accept our requests, too? Not only the norms that benefit you. Let's be fair about this. 
So, can you do it? Can you pay us the dowry and make more money so Lily can be a housewife? I'm sorry, I, I was completely ignorant of the other norms. I don't think I can do all these things you asked me to do as the husband. If so, stop talking about what's normal or not. Most importantly, we're living in the modern era, a lot of things have changed. Well, even if you were able to do the things I asked you to do, we wouldn't have forgiven you. Are you aware of what you did to my daughter? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Isn't that the universal norm? I thought you knew better than this, Justin. I always thought you were an intelligent gentleman. I bet you felt horrible eating dinner alone. I bet you wondered why you were the only one eating in the corridor while everyone else ate at the table. Yes, I felt miserable. Like how your parents cherish you as their son, we cherish Lily and love her from the bottom of our heart. So don't you ever treat her based on what you believe to be normal and ignore her feelings. She's a human being with emotions. I thought you married her because you loved her. I love her. She's my everything. I'm really lucky to have her as my wife. I hope you can treat her better then. If you really love her and make the oath to be her husband, you have to be on her side no matter what. The reason why we've been kind to you is because you're important to Lily. If Lily loves you, we love you too. We're your parents-in-law and don't have any blood relations with you. We used to be strangers and might have never met each other if my daughter didn't fall in love with you. So it might be difficult for us to get along all the time. We grew up in different environments and have different beliefs. But I want to try to get along with you because you're my daughter's husband, and that's why we've been nice to you. As long as you cherish my daughter, we'll always be kind to you. I understand. Thank you for being very kind to me. I don't have the right nor influence to change the mindset of your parents, but I do think there's something you can do. You should be the bridge that connects your parents and my daughter. I know it can be hard sometimes. I'm sorry. I, I was being ignorant of the whole situation. I should have been more considerate about Lily. I'm responsible for making sure they feel comfortable around each other. We all have different ideas and opinions because we all live different lives. But I hope you can respect each other as a couple and reflect on your actions. I know you have a kind heart. My daughter fell for you. You must be a really nice gentleman. Thanks. I get it now. I'm really sorry for hurting your daughter's feelings. It's fine. Lily told me about how your parents treated her when she visited them, and said she wanted to do the same thing your parents did to her so that you'll understand how she felt. And we agreed, so we were partners in crime. Sorry if it surprised you, but I guess you learned your lesson, Justin. I hope you can solve these problems together as a couple next time. I know you both are capable of overcoming it together. I'll return the phone to Lily now. You're always welcome to visit us, Justin. I hope to see you again soon. Let's eat dinner together next time. Yes, thank you. I would love to join you for dinner. Let me apologize directly the next time I visit. I am really sorry for all the things I did to hurt Lily's feelings. Justin, I'm sorry. I planned everything. I thought this was the best way to make you understand how I felt when I visited your parents. Lily? Is, is that you? Yeah, it's me. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I'm really sorry, Lily. I got angry after I experienced what you've been going through. Your mother made me realize how horrible I've been to you. I'm glad you understood. I was really upset and felt very lonely whenever I visited your parents. I felt humiliated, too. I was never treated as your wife nor the daughter-in-law. I didn't know why I was there. I felt the same today. I finally understood your feelings. I was wondering why they were so mean to me. I was so stupid. I wasn't aware of how horrible I was to you. I'm like a child who doesn't realize his mistakes until someone does the same thing to me. I can't deny that. <laughs> but you've learned your lesson and reflected on your actions. That's not what many people can do. Yeah, but I'm so embarrassed of myself. I told you to control your anger, but I couldn't. I lost my temper and left your parents' house without saying a word. 
I promise to respect you more and be considerate of your feelings from now on. But I honestly think it's difficult for me to change how my parents think entirely. They've been like this for all their life. I think so too. I don't think they're trying to be mean or anything. They just think it's normal to treat the daughter-in-law like that. But I'll try my best so that you can feel comfortable coming over to my parents' house. It might take time. Hopefully you can wait. If they don't change their attitudes, you don't have to come over to their house anymore. I don't want to force you to tolerate all that again. Really? I don't have to? Yep. I realize how horrible they were to you after experiencing it myself today. It was definitely one of the most miserable days of my life. But if my parents do change for the better, I hope you can come visit again. They're my parents after all. Of course. I promise I'll visit them. I'm willing to wait, Justin. I'll come pick you up after you finish eating dinner with your parents. Enjoy spending some time with them. Call me when you're done, okay? Huh? You could come back now to join us. I bet you haven't eaten dinner at all. My mom can heat it up for you again. That's a bit awkward. I just had an intense conversation with your mother. Of course, I'll visit again to apologize directly, but I don't think tonight's the best time. And I'm certainly not ready for it. I was really rude, and think they were really worried about you being treated horribly by my parents. I think it's best to spend time with your family for now. You're also a part of our family now. I'll always be by your side. We're a couple, Justin. We're in this together. Let's support each other as a couple for the rest of our lives. After the incident, my husband spent some time persuading his parents about how they shouldn't make me do everything just because I was the daughter-in-law. I bet it was hard for him to go against his parents' firm beliefs, but I'm really thankful that he stood up for me. His father had a very conservative idea that women in the household should devote themselves to the men. His mother had been obeying him from long ago, so like my husband said, it's difficult for them to change their ideas now. They still believe that it's normal and had difficulty understanding what my husband was saying about being nicer to me. And because I stopped visiting them, I think they hate me even more, but I'll have to cope with it. Sometimes it's better to keep a distance from one another. It might take a bit longer until I visit them again. Now I have my husband to protect me, so I'm not scared. I know he would always be on my side to support me no matter what. It might seem like we were fighting over a small problem, but I think it gave us the opportunity to reconsider about our relationship as a couple. We grew up in different environments and were taught different beliefs. It's important to spend some time trying to understand each other. To be honest, when my husband told me it was normal for me to be treated that way by his parents because I was the daughter-in-law, I thought I might have to give up and just accept it. But after I had a proper discussion with him, I was able to see a new side of him. Now I love him even more. I'm glad we were able to talk it out and overcome it as a couple. The incident allowed us to realize that we all have different norms and beliefs. But we can still fall in love and become a family. We'll make sure to respect each other from now on. Hopefully, we can be an ideal couple one day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.